everybody. Today I'd like to show to you how to make a welt buttonhole into your clothes. I'm going to choose a leather material, an imitated leather material, so you can really see this very well. You need your material and you got to choose, first of all, the size of the button that you would like to make these buttonholes for. On the lower part of the jacket or wherever you would like to have this particular buttonhole, you first of all make a buttonhole with your sewing machine in the size as needed for the size of the button that you've chosen. Then you take two needle pins and you push them exactly in the corners of the cut open buttonhole that you did with your household sewing machine. You clap it open and you mark exactly in the position underneath on the right side of the material where you are going to put the welt buttonhole. You pull the needles out again and you got to prepare the two little welt bits. I cut them on 1.9 centimeters width and 6 centimeters long. That is at the moment much longer than the buttonhole will be, but it is much easier to work with this when they're a little bit longer. Later on you can cut them off if you think this will be too long for you. So now we go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to do this. First you will take your two little parts that we cut for the welds for the buttonhole. You fold them in half, left side inside of course, and you start just by stitching along the edge, very small. If you have a leather or a leather imitate like I have here material-wise, you better take a little pattern to lie under the needle, under the foot, so it doesn't push the material too far forward. And if you do it that way, the um, little piece of material will really lie very flat and nothing will be pushed over to the, to the other end. You do the same with the other little piece of material, just so it's held together with the right side of the material facing out. Here we have this buttonhole that you did already with your household machine. And now you lay the first little welt onto the two points that you marked. Light right onto the two points so you still see them and have on each end the same amount of material from your welt sticking over. My idea is to have each welt four millimeters wide. That means I will have to have an in-between space between the two seams of eight millimeters. My foot is five millimeter because of that I will stitch it on by just having the foot slightly standing over the edge of my material. Very important now is that your first stitch when you begin and your last stitch at the end is really held down well so they don't open up when you do the cutting in later on. As I also marked my two points a little bit smaller than the actual buttonhole that we have already, I slightly stitch about three millimeters on each end over the mark that I did. Now to start the next one you must really be very exact by being directly opposite to the stitches you have on the other side. Then you can measure again. If your welt is four millimeters on each side, measure that your in-between space will be eight millimeters. It rather can be a millimeter less in the inside, but never make it too wide, otherwise you do have problems getting the corners done well on this little um, buttonhole. Again, this has got to be even with the other stitch in the beginning and at the end. And however your foot is, your width, you can use it for guiding along on the edge of the material. As I chosen, of course, um, 
a thread that's the same color as a material. It's not so easy for you to see. That's why I just mark this here for you now. That's what it looks with the sewing prepared to cut in now. This is exactly the same as if you'd be doing um, a welt pocket. You underneath have to take both pieces away because you don't cut them. And you go right in the middle between your two stitches, your, between your two uh, seams, cut it in, and then stay a little bit away from the end so you can cut a little dry angle there. Doing the same from this side, about six, seven millimeters before you get to the end, you start cutting the dry angle towards the last stitch. And you must really be tight on to get a really nice corner. Then you just pull these two little pieces over to the other side, to the left side, straighten it out, pulling it a little bit flat into the corners. And there you can see the buttonhole is practically finished. Looks already as if it's finished anyway. Now you have different, uh, um, different possibilities. You can maybe sew your edge first and then stitch them together. Or you can stitch them directly together, but if you're not very firm, then first of all, just hold on your little triangles that you got st standing over. Do that from the left side. Of course, you must check for before that you're really in a right angle. Then you got this little triangle there, and you just stitch that down. It's nicely held now for whatever you're going to do, be doing next. Now you have to lie it exactly buttonhole onto buttonhole, very even above each other. If you're not sure if your material likes to slip easily away, then take some pins and hold everything down for you. I don't do this because I'm quite firm with doing this, but I always check anyway again. Start on one of the small sides, the short sides, I'm not even stitching back and forward because I rather go two or three stitches over again when I come around from the other side. So with a small stitch, I go all the way around this little buttonhole. And if you choose a leather material to do this buttonhole, it's always nice if the effect is it's not exactly the same color, that it has a little contrast as it really makes it look nice. Now you can see on the back, stitched all the way around because I lied it exactly in the middle, this looks perfect. Now you can try your buttonhole. It should go easily through. This is one way to make a leather welt a buttonhole with the buttonhole on the left side, on the underneath, done with your household machine. But there's many other ways, which I will show to you in my next tutorials coming up. So thank you for watching and see you soon again. Bye.